What proof do we have that Jesus wasn't crucified? Atheist scholar, Gerd Ludemann says, Jesus' death as a consequence of crucifixion, is indisputable. Skeptical scholar, John Dominic Crossan says, that Jesus was crucified is as sure as anything historical can ever be. Atheist scholar, Bart Ehrman says, one of the most certain facts of history, is that Jesus was crucified on orders of the Roman prefect of Judea, Pontius Pilate. Tacitus, the ancient non-Christian Roman historian, says, Christus was put to death by Pontius Pilate, procurator of Judea, in the reign of Tiberius. Lucian, the ancient Greek satirist, says, the Christians, you know worship a man to this day, and was crucified on that account, they are all brothers, from the moment that they are converted, and deny the gods of Greece, worship the crucified sage. The Jewish Talmud, agrees that Jesus was crucified. Marcus Borg says, the most certain fact about the historical Jesus is his execution as a political rebel. Paula Fredrickson, a convert to Judaism, tells us the exact same thing. New Testament scholar, Craig Evans tells us that no serious historian, doubts that Jesus was crucified. Secondly, modern medical analysis concludes that Jesus was dead, before the spear punctured his side. Apostle John tells us, one of the soldiers, however, pierced his side with a spear, and immediately, blood and water flowed out. Incidentally, two medical doctors analyzed this biblical account in the Journal of the American Medical Association. They cited this verse from John, as evidence that Jesus was dead, even before the spear pierced through the rib. They explained, clearly, the weight of historical and medical evidence indicates that Jesus was dead before the wound to his side was inflicted, and supports the traditional view that the spear, thrust between his right ribs, probably perforated not only the right lung, but also the pericardium and heart, and thereby ensured his death. Accordingly, interpretations based on the assumption that Jesus did not die on the cross, appear to be at odds with modern medical knowledge. Lastly, I wish to present the words of an Orthodox Jewish theologian, and historian, Pincus Lapid. He wrote a book entitled, The Resurrection of Jesus, A Jewish Perspective. He became quite the controversial figure, when he revealed that he actually believed that the historical Jesus, rose from the dead. However, he never became a Christian. He believed that God brought Jesus back to life, so that Jesus could be the Messiah, for the non-Jewish nations. The only way he could explain the rise and spread of Christianity, is through the explanation that Jesus actually rose from the dead, because of the authentically Jewish underpinnings of the idea of resurrection. He says, in the same way all resurrections and resuscitations, of which the Bible and rabbinical literature speak, happen only in the presence of a few people who are personally concerned. Thus, the small number of the witnesses of the resurrection of Jesus is not an obstacle to the Easter faith, but on the contrary, it speaks for the authenticity of that salvation experience in Jerusalem, almost two millennia ago. In regard to the future resurrection of the dead, I am and remain a Pharisee. Concerning the resurrection of Jesus on Easter Sunday, I was for decades a Sadducee. I am no longer a Sadducee. I accept the resurrection of Jesus not as an invention of the community of disciples, but as a historical event.